Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius or for whoever's watching. Um, let's see what is coming towards you guys for what is today? Tuesday. Let's just say the rest of the week. Or no, screw that. Let's say the next three days. <laughs> what is coming towards Sagittarius or whoever's watching for the next 72 hours? What is coming towards Sagittarius for the next 72 hours? I got my little dice out. Let me just roll them. <laughs> Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, Leo. So those are some signs you can be dealing with. Oh shit, that one fell on the floor. <laughs> okay, so we have... 2817, 28, 286, 171. Okay, those could be birth dates. I'll have to get that dice later. Okay, let's see. Dance is on one foot balancing act. Okay, so you guys may be feeling like you're balancing a lot in life right now. Uh, you will pull it off, though. Tidy house. Clarity and organization. <laughs> so some of you guys, you know, are, um, you need to clean up. You need to get shit in order. Protecting the future dragon. Yeah, boy. They're ready for that dragon energy to come in. What is today? The 6th? Y'all got like four days before this dragon energy comes in, but it is coming. Sacred covenant. Sacred contract. You have a covenant with somebody. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. I'm not going to take those. I want to ask who you have this damn covenant with, I guess. Some of y'all need to surrender. Like, if you're, like, trying to be hard and, like, no, I'm not going to surrender. <laughs> you need to surrender. Damn, the cards about all fell. Something's going on. Like, I don't think Spirit wants me to talk about this sacred, sacred contract. Who, do, who does Sagittarius have this sacred contract with here, Spirit? Could be with somebody who's in the dragon year. Like, a, somebody who's born in the dragon year. <clears throat> mm. It's a lover. Some type of. <laughs> yeah, somebody you're in your head about. Gemini energy twice. There you are. So you have a sacred contract with a lover. Look. <laughs> some of you guys this is like a sacred contract with your love for God <laughs> but there's somebody here you have a contract with I see you being single aww aww <laughs> so you have a sacred contract with this king of wands somebody who is heartbroken that walked away um, they could be like very indecisive or you could be, you know, this person's like having anxiety, stress, they're broken hearted. You, you made this person emotionally happy. They're like waiting for you. Man, they feel betrayed by you. So maybe they don't even feel like there's a future with you now. You know what, though? You have a contract with this person. <laughs> Unless they're saying the contract is up. King of Swords. They're being very cold towards you right now. Yeah. Wow. You guys are mirroring each other. I hope both of you guys aren't being hoe cakes. Like. You know what? I get. I feel like you cut this person off because they wouldn't give you the Ten of Pentacles. Because you guys are mirroring each other. You're, you you definitely have a contract together. Um, but I feel like you could have cut this person off because 
they wanted to be the Knight of Wands, and you want them to be the Ten of Pentacles, which is like family. This person's emotionally attached to you, and they're like trying their hardest to hold back from you. Yeah, they feel like this is over. Your contract may be up. They feel you like rejecting them, moving on. They could have rejected your offer of marriage, of like having the Ten of Pentacles. And there's like a fight that breaks out. I see you moving on though and being happy without them. You know you're the empress. Like you know you're meant to be like a husband or wife, have kids, a family. Like you're just sitting over there looking pretty or handsome and you're like, okay, well you don't want me, somebody else does. <laughs> like, Because you got a lot of people who want you, who are trying to get your attention. Yeah, a lot of people want to spend time with you, hang out with you. This person could be blocking you and then moving on. Maybe there was like a third party. This person's watching you. They're not making any moves. They're stalking you and they're waiting for justice. So they feel like you did something wrong to them, but you feel like they did something wrong to you. There's definitely some lies juggling going on ace of wands oh my god was this person fucking cheating on you this person could have been cheating on somebody from with somebody from the past and you didn't even know about it because we have the moon it was hidden if that's the case okay i gonna tell you right now because we have the karma card okay if this person was cheating on you behind your back and you didn't with somebody from the past and you didn't know about it you're going to witness this person's demise. Like, karma is going to get their ass. Yeah, what I tell you. Their karma is going to get their ass. Yeah. They think that you were the one cheating here with the King of Pentacles type Virgo energy. You weren't. I, I've been doing your readings for months now. This, this person's always worried about this King of Pentacles, but you weren't doing anything with the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, they think you're in love with this other person. Yeah, they think you found new love. <laughs> Maybe you need to go talk to this King of Wands and be like, look, Dumbo, or whatever, but like, check it out. Whatever stupid shit you're over there thinking is not true. Like, I am not in love with this person. So, there's somebody they think you left them for. Yeah, and they think you're keeping this, like, a secret. <laughs> they love you, though. They think that you're, like... <laughs> they think the King of Pentacles is, like, your divine counterpart or something, and that they're not. But they actually are. Because we have the King and Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and the Empress... Yeah, this person thinks you moved on and picked somebody else and is going to go commit to this other person. So I guess when you told this person, marry me or beat it, they thought that like that meant you were going to um, go be with this King of Pentacles. But I don't think you're with anybody. It's like you're single, but they just assume the worst. So you have a soul contract with this uh, King of Wands. Man, what a shit show. Who who are y'all dealing with? Like, some of y'all I feel like are, mo are, are like with a soulmate and a twin flame at the same time. Like, this is this weird. I don't know. This King of Wands is delusional. They're thinking shit that's not even true. I guess if you guys would open your mouths and communicate... And unblock each other. Maybe they could figure that out. I don't know. But somebody's blocked. Vice versa. You blocked them or they blocked you. But um, this person needs to know what time it is. But maybe it's a lost cause. But you have a contract. And I don't feel like it's up. So what's going towards Sagittarius the next 72 hours? 
what is coming towards Sagittarius or whoever is watching the next 72 hours? You have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Eight of Wands. So you're going to get some type of movement here. Somebody could be coming to your house. I see you celebrating Ace of Pentacles, finances. You're going to get some type of offer. Somebody could be offering you like a marriage or something. Oh, okay, somebody still wants to be quiet though. See, so guys, somebody is still not communicating with you. They're they're being stubborn. Like with that Knight of Cups, their arms are crossed. Yeah, somebody feels like you're being stubborn here. You're being quiet. You're just focusing on your work and ending things with them, and they're heartbroken. Okay. So by you not talking, this is really like hurting somebody. It's somebody from your past. And it's somebody who is holding back. So you holding back from somebody is like really hurting them. They feel like you're moving on without them. Yeah, and that you're not talking to them. Then we have the King of Pentacles reverse. <laughs> the hell? Like. Somebody is just so upset. They feel like you're not their friend anymore. You don't love them anymore. Um, that you're off with somebody else. That you, you know, you're committing to somebody else. They also could feel like this King of Pentacles is like keeping you from them or something. Yeah, they feel like you are just moving on. Moving on up. Moving on up. Oh, I feel like you are. I really do. I feel like... I think you stood on what you said. Like, you're like, I'm telling you, you claim you love me. Well, you're fixing to really be heartbroken because I don't have time to play games with you. I'm not dealing with no Knight of Wands. I'm not dealing with no whole cake ass shit. And that's what I'm seeing. And this person's in your energy and they're crying. Well, I'm sure you're crying too. It probably broke your heart to have to end this relationship. But you also know your worth and you know that you can't be investing your time and precious life source energy into people who are playing games. Either give me what I want, marriage, instability, or kick rocks. Like that's what you told this person. I can see it in the cards. And y'all was cold blooded with it. You might even bought him. I don't know. Like you, And they're like, well, come and be friends. Hell to the gnaw. Why would I want to be friends with you and sit there and watch you go be with another broad or another guy? You're not doing it. You're not about to allow somebody to mentally mind fuck you uh, just for the sake of being friends with somebody. That's what you told this person. I can see it in the cards. And you're moving on to your wish fulfillment. That eight of cups leads to the nine of cups. The nine of cups was the first card out. You know your worth, Sagittarius. You know that you can find somebody to give you what you want. It's kind of like you're the type that's like, I'll petition God. Once I start petitioning God for somebody else, I'm going to get it. Yeah, they're waiting for you. I don't think they think, maybe they think you ain't really going nowhere. I don't know. Yeah, there's fights. There's drama. People are left out in the cold. You took off and they're feeling it. <sighs> yeah, you're waiting for your ten of pentacles. <laughs> You guys are cracking me up, boy. So you guys are like, fuck it. I'm not beat to hear your bullshit. Like, this is what you told this person. I stand ten toes down. I want the ten of pentacles if you can't give it to me, bye. Like, you've literally probably caused a fight with this person because you wanted to get out of it. Because you knew, like, hey, this isn't going anywhere. You're blocking my precious life source energy here that's what you told this person you're like man i need stability i need marriage i need commitment i'm not going to be a side piece i'm not going to be friends with benefits i'm not doing it if that's what you want go find some other broad or some other guy 
but I'm going to find my Ten of Pentacles with or without you. And you cut the ass off. And now they're upset. Well, I'm sure you're upset too because they wasted your damn time and led you on to believe some bullshit. So it goes both ways. Yeah. And you're off to a new journey and you're not accepting any apologies. The Page of Cups is in reverse. You're unapologetic about moving on. Yeah, and you're standing in your power. Sagittarius energy. You're a bad bitch or a bad dude. I can tell you that right now. You, even if you had a lot of emotions and feelings for this person, you didn't let it hinder you. Because you know that you got options. You know that you can have anybody else that you want. You know that it's easy for you to find new love. So you end this old love and said deuces. And now this person feels betrayed. Well, it's not your fault. Because you know that you can go get this Ten of Cups and this Six of Pentacles. Somebody who will give you equal give and take. And somebody who will marry you and have complete emotional fulfillment with you. Yeah. And so this person is thinking that you're sneaking off. Oh, Sagittarius betrayed me. They're a liar. They're giving to somebody else. No, I don't think you were even giving to somebody else. They assumed that you left them to pick somebody else. That's not what you did. You weren't involved with nobody else at the time when you told this person this. You just stood on what you believed. And that, so this person assumes, oh, well, since they cut me off, they got somebody else lined up. No, Sagittarius doesn't have to have anybody lined up. They could care less about that. They just know their worth. They're not going to stick around for something that that is not viable. Um, so, this person's delusional as hell. Yeah, and they, they're thinking you look too damn good out here. Oh, they're stressing too. Uh, they're stressing out. They're thinking you just look too damn good out here. Too independent, too single. Mm-hmm. They think you don't know they're watching, too, by the way. Two of Swords. Yeah, here they go. Here goes this hoe cake. This freaking hoe cake who was indecisive is now back in your energy. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm over here. I'm, Sagittarius has got me in my head. I'm indecisive. What do I do? What do I do? So now they're like thinking. And then here they are. The fucking king of wands. This is that person that never wanted to act right. Ho cake. <laughs> ho cake. Look, and you got your back turned to him. You're like, you know what? I'm not. You just buy. Boy, buy. Girl, buy. I'm working. Don't bug me. You have your back turned to this person. You're like, bye. Like, <laughs> bye. Good day. Oh, and then look, here goes that tower. <laughs> they felt like you were too much work, Sagittarius. They're like, oh my God, they want marriage, commitment? God, that's going to be a chore. <laughs> so you caused, you caused this person a tower moment. By you leaving and putting your foot down, you caused a tower moment for this person. Yeah, and now they're stressed out here. This person's really worried, stressed out, having anxiety. Um, they're still stuck on you. But I feel like they're trying to look at things from a higher perspective here. Oh, Lord. And, and they, man, I don't know if they're going to boss up and become this emperor or they think you have an emperor you're in love with. Because they're worried about you getting this new love with an emperor and having your six of wands, your victory, and your success. Getting a lot of attention. Yeah, they feel like this could be their karma, too. Like, they feel like there's a third party. This person's holding back from saying anything to you. They're just watching you. So this person's just stalking you, watching you. They could be watching you hang out with friends, but they're holding back communication. They see you moving away from them. They feel like you're very happy without them. And then they know. They're watching you. So they're like, okay, I'm watching Sagittarius online. And there is an emperor. So there is an emperor here. Somebody's choosing you. This emperor is choosing you. 
<laughs> yeah, because you're the Empress. And then we have the Four of Cups. So you don't even realize it, but you're fixing to find your perfect match. This person knows it, though. They've been watching you. Yeah, they know that you're manifesting your person. You know, this could even be them. I really think that this person may be about to step up their damn game and become the person you need them to be. Because we have the King and Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and the Empress. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, <laughs> they know you're pissed. This person knows you're pissed. I keep seeing these two cards. This person's about to confront you, regardless of whatever the hell is going on. They were in this hermit mode, but this person's like about to come out of hermit mode and say something to your ass. Like they're pissed off. Like they can't no longer hold back. Like, they're about to say something to you. This right, These two cards are always facing each other, like, in other videos I've done. It's like a confrontation. Yeah, this person wants to win at all costs. <clears throat> and they see that there's others around you wanting to work with you. They feel like you're a star, so they feel like you get a lot of attention. This person's jealous of other people around you. They want to talk to you, but they kind of feel like you won't say anything to them. All this is happening in the next 72 hours. My God, y'all need to just lock the doors. This person is still like juggling like how to talk to you, what to say to you. Like if they should return or not. They want the devil in reverse. So they don't want any like... <clears throat> toxicity in this relationship which that's good this person if somebody blocks you they want to unblock you they're in this like ghosting energy not talking they they miss the sex with you they're in regret and despair they think you're very attractive they want to, like, say, hey, let's be friends with benefits, and you're like, fuck no. But then it's like, they want to come in and try to love bomb you anyway, and try to, like, give you some good news and heal it with you. What a shit show. I don't know. Let's see what this King of Wands is planning exactly. Like, in the next 72 hours, what is this <clears throat> King of Wands actions towards Sagittarius? What is this King of Wands action for Sagittarius? This is a person who didn't want to commit. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be anybody. It's whoever you cut off because they didn't want to commit. You know one of the funniest, craziest things I see? Like you'll see these dudes who are like almost pushing 50, right? And they're like, oh, I don't want marriage. You know? Well, another 10 years, you're also probably going to be, like, having health issues or, you know, just things happen as you get older. And that, you know, that's the way God intended you to not do life alone. And a lot of these people, especially these men, they think they can depend on, like, their kids or maybe a sister or a brother or whoever. Um, even maybe their own parents if they're alive. But the, check it out. Everybody else has their own life to live. Your kids are probably married, have their own life. Uh, you know, your parents are probably old. They need taken care of. And you're over here living like you're 20 years old. I remember a story this lady told, said she worked in a hospital in New York. And she said one of the saddest things was there would be men that would come in there that were in their late 40s, early 50s. And she'd be like, is your wife here? And they would all be like, no, I don't have a wife. Hell, they would, didn't even have girlfriends uh, because they'd played so many games. And she said... It wasn't until they had a health issue that they realized they wished they had somebody by them. And so she said, our society has created this false sense that we need to be free and, oh, marriage is bad and this and this and this. But God didn't intend for us to do life alone. So some of these people are just playing too many damn games 
and some of y'all are just going to be lessons to these people um, to teach them like you know you have something good don't let it go because I guarantee you once they experience a Sagittarius' love they're never going to find that type of love again in life they are like earth angels have the two of swords reversed so is this person going to make a decision queen of cups reversed hmm is this person going to try to like come and give you this ten of pentacles this person dang sure wants sex with you yeah they're not going to give you what you want Yeah, this person could be just deciding to like move on to new love and no longer invest in this. Um, they know they can't give you this commitment or this Ten of Pentacles. They do have love for you. I feel like they're waiting for you. This person still like loves you and is bonded to you. Yeah, but it's like they don't want to fight. This person doesn't want to fight. And they want to stay in this Knight of Wands. So they want to stay free. They don't want a commitment. Yeah, this person's going to stay blocking you. Because they would rather be the Knight of Wands, be a hoe cake, um, and just keep you blocked. Okay? And they feel they're very arrogant about this. So you're dealing with somebody who's very arrogant. Could be like a Leo. Um, they're choosing to just stay in their pride and in their ego and to walk away from you yeah <clears throat> they also feel like you're just walking away too which i feel like you are i think i feel like you stay ten toes down and you're standing on it you're standing on what's right what's just and this person's just going to continue to stalk you and watch you and not make any moves at least in the next 72 hours like they're holding back but they are watching you they have eyes on you yeah they feel like you have a shit ton of options too whatever they're seeing they know you have a lot of options yeah and they feel betrayed by whatever they see so <laughs> if you're posting pictures or some shit they're pissed about that they know you're very guarded and you're off looking for a new commitment and your ten of cups yeah, they feel like you're happy without them. You know, this person may come and say something to you just to lift a burden off of them. But they know you're in this Queen of Swords and they may be trying to give you time. They're also very jealous. This person's very jealous. Yeah. They're jealous about this damn King of Pentacles around you. Whoever the hell this is. Whoever the hell this is, they feel like you have somebody around you that you're moving on with. This King of Pentacles. They're stressed out and worried about you moving away with this King of Pentacles, whoever they are. I mean, boy, you got every card moving away. And they feel like you just, like, threw their love away for this King of Pentacles. <laughs> this person may try to come back in, like, time and then offer you love. But I don't feel like it's going to be right now. I feel like they're kind of leaving you out in the cold and just hanging around not doing anything. But there's there's this damn key, Queen of Pentacles that keeps coming up. I feel like I guess that's you. But this person is going to sooner or later break and say something to you. But they sure are like pissed and in regret and despair. They're in this ghosting energy. They feel like you're free getting wish fulfillment. There is, who is the earth sign this person is so worried about? They feel like there's an earth sign sneaking around that they view as the emperor that they don't like. Like, they're heartbroken about this person. So, whoever the hell that is. Whoever this king of wands is. Oh, my God. This person. They think, like, you're the devil. <laughs> They think you're the devil and that you're the star and you get a lot of attention. They don't want to talk to you. And they're in the reverse, so they're, like, very jealous. So this person could be telling people that you're the devil. 
was like, what the hell? Like, this person has lost it. Like, I, you know, the sad part about this is I think you really love this person. I really think you did. I mean, come on now. If you didn't love them, why was you trying to spend the rest of your freaking life with them? Did they not think of this? Like, did they not think that when you told them, hey, I'm cutting you off because you won't give me marriage? Was that not like a big, huge sign to them? Like, hey, I kind of love you. I want to be with you forever. And they were like, no. And you're like, okay, bye. <laughs> like, And then now you're the devil. Why? Because you don't want to commit. You want to just... I don't know. You did something to this person and now they're just butt hurt and they keep showing up in your freaking readings. I'm sick of them. Okay, I done rolled dice. I guess I'm done. <sighs> this person does want to come back together with you though. You're going to get justice. You are going to get justice in this situation. Like you will eventually get justice in this situation. You know, hold on. What's coming for new love? Who is coming in towards Sagittarius for new love in the month of February? Somebody that might give you equal give and take. Libra, Pisces, somebody from your past is about to return and communicate to you, but this isn't new love, is it? Man, somebody's trying to block you from getting freaking success and new love. This freaking Leo energy does not want you to move on. They don't want you to be getting messages. God, you got a lot of options. You, you, If you want new love, you can have it. There you are. You're the queen of wands. Yeah. You got people also holding back from you. Man, you are single, looking good. You got so many people holding back from talking to you, though. They're just stalking. You got a shit ton of stalkers. But they, they're going to start coming out and talking to you. You got all kinds of people. Sagittarius that um want to talk to you and you also got like a jealous broad around you this queen of pentacles reverse you know what Ooh, two of these broads what I'm getting is that you could have like you could be somebody who gets a lot of attention online like because you got people stalking your ass there could be like guys who are like into you but they have like broads at home or something and these broads are seeing this and so they're jealous you have people gossiping about you. <laughs> and they're like hoping that you have like a tower moment, but you don't. And you just like focus on your work and you like rebuild yourself. You're like the phoenix rising here. But there's somebody who you had an ending with that doesn't want it to end and they want to come back. Yeah, you got a lot of people who are going to be fighting to get your attention. Some, somebody who's been hiding in the shadows is about to pop off. Like, they're seeing something online or some shit, and they're like, oh, hell no, I can't, I can't just watch this bullshit no more. I have to say something. They've been hiding. It's somebody in from your past who's very guarded. Oh, my God, they're so freaking jealous. Man, they're hoping it's your finances fuck up, too. It's just fucking Leo, I'm telling you. It's some, like... They're about to say something like they no longer can say anything. You walked away from them. So now they're pissed. You got away from that knight of wands to go find your ten of pentacles. And this person's watching you. And they feel like you're just sneaking away into the fucking, um, you know, sunset here. And they're still heartbroken. They're being stubborn as hell. Not talking to you. Not making a decision. But boy, do they want to come fuck the shit out of you. I don't know if that's allowed on here, but <laughs> this person is so jealous. They they could try to like manipulate you. They're not, they, they want to come back towards you, but I feel like it's just for sex. I don't see, you got options, but I just don't feel like you want any of them, to be honest. 
I think you're still trying to get over this this um this person or something. I don't know. But you got people watching you, stalking you, hating on you, like I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's a shit show. You got people who are in the cold that want to come out. People who feel betrayed by you. Look, there goes your King of Pentacles. Why does everybody hate this King of Pentacles so much? Is this like a best friend or something? I mean, you got people all in their head about this King of Pentacles. This person really is just your friend. Like, if this King of Wands is jealous of this King of Pentacles, they're mistaken about you. They have no idea that this is really just a friend. Like, so you could have a really good friend that people don't like. Yeah, and people think that, like, you're off to new love with this King of Pentacles. You got people stressed out over this. People are in regret and despair. Like, if you're out with a friend and people are seeing this, they think this is your new love. Which is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No, I love this King of Cups because they feel left out in the cold. Somebody's going to return here because they feel rejected and they're sick of that. Like, they're sick of being out in the cold. Okay, so you got jealous people hating. You got somebody who is just dying to do it to you. <laughs> they don't want commitment, but they want that ass. Like, whatever. Well, mm -mm. you know your worth. You're not settling for that bullshit. Who is this damn King of Pentacles? How does this King of Pentacles feel about Sagittarius? Why is so everybody so worried about this damn king of pentacles who is this like what's up with this king of pentacles energy oh it's their it's their karma um yeah it's their karma there's people who are who are feeling left out in the cold um because they didn't love you right so maybe this person's helping you like Man, you got people pissed at this person. This person, you got people wanting to fight over this person. This person's been through a lot. Whoever the King of Pentacles is, they're like a warrior. They don't fuck around. Like, they'll fight for you. Yeah, and this person's blocking people from you. Uh, these two cards are, to, it, this person's a fighter. They're fighting people off of you. They know that you're very free. They know you're a carefree individual. They feel like they have to protect you because you're like a child. So this King of Pentacles could be a friend, a family member, or something. I don't know, but they feel like you're just childlike. They're like, man, Sagittarius is just like a child out here being too free. And they feel like they have to protect you. Yeah, because they feel like there's devil energy out here. They feel like there's people who would try to take advantage of you. Because, see, you're just free, chilling out here with your wand, dancing around, just twirling like a freaking turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Don't realize there's people out here who want to, like, murder you and shit. And there's a freaking snake, like, waiting to bite your ass, and you don't even see it. And then here goes this devil, this toxic-ass energy, swirling around you. Yeah, this person feels like you're too loving and kind, that, like, people could take advantage of you. Yeah. So kind of like they're waiting, they're helping you to heal. Like this person has a lot of love for you. They feel like you're very loving, very kind. And they want to like work with you, build with you. Um, They feel like you're a really good ally. But they could be trying to stay with you till you heal from this toxic energy that was in your life or something. Or until that or until you could like find new love or something like maybe they feel like they would feel more comfortable like moving away from you once you found somebody else that was more compatible for you oh, there there's somebody around this king of Pentacles who's like 
either having financial problems or they're really jealous of your like friendship with this um, King of Pentacles because there you go with the two of cups okay so there's somebody attached to this King of Pentacles that doesn't like your friendship and they want them to end it with you could be who they're with yeah they want to manifest like no communication between the two of you so you could have like a friend or a brother or a family member or something that has like a wife or a girlfriend uh, and this person's just trying to help you to get away from like a toxic situation or or they feel like they have to protect you but whoever they're with doesn't like you <laughs> like they don't want you to talk to that person yeah and they feel like you're really good looking you get a lot of attention they don't like that this whoever this female is yeah I feel like you're a star Uh, whoever they're attached to wants them to move away from you. Uh, you and this person could have like a spiritual connection. Um, it's like a spiritual ally here. We have the high priestess and the hierophant. So this is definitely some type of a spiritual ally. And I feel like you help this person. I feel like they help you and you help them. Like they're they're protecting you from like this devil energy. And then you help them maybe with like finances or, you know, maybe you just help them in some type of way. Because you see that they're not doing good right now. So you're trying to like be good to them. They could be drinking or something like that. Yeah, you're offering to help them with something. And there's a lot of people watching this. For some reason, like, like these people are watching you. Could be some like confusion around this situation. Hmm. It's like this person knows you're gonna like take off because you have a lot of options. This person may have to move in the future, so it could have them like in their head. Of like what will happen to you if they have to move. Because they want you to stick around for like long term. Um, like they're choosing you. They want you to be around. Yeah, this person wants to hold on to you. They want to hold on to Sagittarius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's something here about this person knows this King of Wands isn't good for you. Like they feel this King of Pentacles feels like this King of Wands is very jealous. And they feel like this King of Wands has ulterior motives with, with being with you. Like they feel like um you're very abundant. And that like this person could be holding on to you for finances or something. They want to keep this King of Wands away from you. This King of Pentacles does. Yeah, they want you to walk away from that person and not invest in them. They feel like this person doesn't have good intentions with you. Yeah, they have the King and the Queen of Swords. <laughs> So this person worries about you. This could be like a friend from childhood or something, but they're worried. They're worried that this King of Wands is going to try to like come back into your life. Um, so they keep an eye on that to see if you're what's going on. And they feel like they have to defeat this Knight of Wands. Like they have to win. So you guys do have two different people here who keep coming up in your energy and they're at like odds with each other. The King of Pentacles thinks the King of Wands is out to get you um, and use you or some shit. And then the King of Wands feels like the King of Pentacles is like the devil holding you back from them. So I don't know. Y'all need to just go to Jerry Springer. Well, like, too bad Jerry's gone. He's crossed over. Maybe I should do a past on love one reading. For Jerry and like bring him um 
through to talk to y'all. I'm playing. I, that's not nice. But, you know, there's something going on. Some of y'all are dealing with some drama. Um, hopefully this ends soon so we can move on to a different storyline. Like, okay. I'll see you guys later. There's no extended for this, okay?